G'day guys, and welcome back to Lumber Token 2. So, I just wanted to uh, show you guys another wee trick, another wee tip that I've learned over the few years of playing. Um, sometimes you can be a bit lazy when it comes to filling blueprints, but uh, we're going to have to move them in the end. Now I just come up with this little idea the other day and I just thought why not fill them automatically like this. Okay, so these are just the wall blueprints. But as you can see, they're right up underneath the conveyor. Okay, well we're going to keep putting a few more on there. And uh, we'll take it for a test run and see if it works. Now this is especially good if you've got the power, even if you don't have the power, you can um, you can still do this, even if you don't have the power, this will still work, okay, you'll just need a lot more wood. Okay, so I'm just going to carry on placing some of these underneath here. Now some of them might not fill up because they're... Uh, They'll be too far away from the wood that comes across, but we're going to give it a whirl, and we're going to see how how uh, how it works. If it works, like I've tested this with a few doors, just to make sure it does sort of work. But the doors are a lot harder to place under there than these walls and any other blueprint is. So we've got some pink wood in there at the moment. Um, what I'm going to have to do is do this here. Swap that over so when it falls it goes out the other way. Uh, I believe that this pink wood here is no good where it is. So hopefully I can lift that out because it's in the wrong way. Should be good. Should be good. Okay, now it's gonna chop. It's gonna run around here, up here, and it's gonna go over top of those blueprints. Yeah, hopefully I've got enough wood lying around for this. Actually, here's another wee bit here. We might just feed that in there as well. Yeah, just in case. Okay, so we're going to feed that into the air as well. Okay, it doesn't want to go in for me. I'm going to chop it in half. It may be a little bit big. Yeah, we'll pop that right in there. We'll see how we go. Hopefully, it, uh, yeah, that should be a good size there. Okay, hopefully, this will start cutting. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna stand back here a wee bit and just make sure everything's all good there. Because I know the the sound of the saw is quite loud. Here here they come. Now let's see if it just disappears. Perfect. It seems to be seems to be working really really well. No lag spikes as yet. I think I'm going to need more wood. But that's filling them up really good. Basically, this is a 
automatic blueprint filler. Okay, how much will we, will we have enough? Probably will. I can probably turn this off now. Now the rest of them are going to fall, so what I'll do is I'll turn that. Hopefully that'll stop them all. Okay, we'll put this one in the trailer. But it's as easy as that, guys. Automatic blueprint filler. All we need to do is make this a bit longer, and we can we can make as many as we need. So you gotta you gotta have it off the ground though, because otherwise it makes it tricky to place the blueprints in between there, especially to get them up underneath. I'm super happy with this. Now uh, tell me what you guys think. Um, if you liked the video, um, leave a like, um, subscribe, and uh, hit that wee notification bell, and come back for more. I'm happy with uh, the, the way everything's worked out, the way this has worked, and it's a good idea. Super efficient. Okay, guys. Thanks for coming. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.